Hello everyone, back to today's first video. We're doing uh, Jeremy Monday for today's first video. We're looking at the Japanese uh, seasonal model. I'm going to go three months uh, out through uh, May, June, and July, so into the middle part of the summer with the uh, Jeremy. We'll have a look at the 500 millibar height anomalies first, and then we'll have a look at corresponding temperature and precipitation anomalies uh, as well. So I'll get them up for you very shortly. Just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be the regular week's 10 day video update with all of the usual features. Now at the weekend, we're going to have our uh, second summer 2020 season model roundup when we get something like 13 long range models together and uh, we'll see what they're all showing uh, for the summer of 2020. And Miss Jeremy update will form part of that uh, of that uh, seasonal model roundup. But you can get a lot of information from the JMA uh, and of course, with 13 other long range ones to go at, we won't have time to sort of uh, drill down and get into all of the detail uh, in the scenes model around it. So we always like to take the JMA out, have a look at it and in its own terms, and that's what we're going to do uh, for today's first video. So we begin with the uh, North Pole and Arctic uh, view uh, for the 500 millibar height anomaly for May 2020. Now, of course, it's just one month away. It's next month, so it's month number one. This should be the most reliable part of the uh, of the forecast, really. So this is the, uh, uh, this is the North um, Pole just here. We've got wider Arctic circle uh, around uh, there. Blue is extrapolating to um, below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, or orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. In uh, in May, we're forecasting a trough of low pressure. The JMA is forecasting a trough of low pressure over the Arctic and, and also it's sending down through Greenland into the North Atlantic. There's a ridge of above average heights over and to the east and northeast of the country. Flow and the jet will be doing something a little bit like that. So it does look relatively anti-cyclonic for May. You expect quite a lot of dry weather and potentially bringing in a bit of an easterly flow as well. So you would expect a reasonable amount of, uh, of dry weather and quite a pleasant month for May. A reasonable amount of dry and fine conditions, hopefully. That's June, doesn't look quite as good. We take the above average heights out to our west. So we've got a mid-Atlantic ridge here and extending up towards green. There's no particularly evident trough of low pressure, but I think through here, we've got these lighter colours. This is a trough of low pressure, so it suggests quite a cool and potentially unsettled June, actually. Maybe surprisingly, a little bit more so than you might think, given that height anomaly. But I think June could be rather on the cool and unsettled side. Probably not desperately well because the mid-Atlantic ridge will block off the Atlantic. So I'm not sure we're bringing in areas of low pressure from off the Atlantic. But certainly cool and showery um, could be possible in June. And we go through to July. I've got a rather strange looking chart uh, for July. It's always much more difficult to interpret these height anomalies in the summer than it is at other times of the year. Because the summer weather patterns are always very slack and... Uh, and um, it's always uh, hard to differentiate the troughs and the ridges. But I think we've got a ridge of high pressure up here, sitting to our north and also to our west as well. There's possibly a trough of low pressure around there, uh, around Greenland and Iceland. So broadly, I would have thought, we will confirm this in a moment, broadly I would have thought we're probably in a pattern of low pressure there, high pressure there, a little bit of higher pressure there as well. Um, and probably bringing in just a westerly type flow, albeit quite a weak westerly type flow. So uh, July could be a little bit, uh, a little bit on the unsettled side as well. So uh, we will confirm all that in a moment when we look at the tropical and mid latitude view with the temperature and precipitation and ice. So it is a very difficult anomaly to um, interpret that. Uh, let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view. Then we come back to May. So a reminder of May's 500 millibar height. I'm mean, just here in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, by the way. So uh, a reminder of May's 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like we're basically under a ridge of high pressure. We've got a ridge sitting pretty much over the country with a trough of low pressure out to the northwest. Suggesting it should be pushed northwards uh, somewhat uh, like that. Uh, temperature anomalies uh, for May are being forecast to be. Uh, very close to average, maybe a little bit above average, so it's, it's a relatively mild month being indicated there. And it is driving an average as well, which is what you'd expect being under a ridge of high pressure. So yes, we have uh, another dry month uh, in May, which will culminate what has been uh, a very dry spring, of course. So uh, a mild and dry May being forecast. 
the uh, mean wind direction for baby is always a little bit difficult to uh, work out but uh, you can see from the black arrows that they're generally coming from the east so the mean wind direction is easterly uh, which is very typical for May. May is our most easterly month of the year. Uh, westerlies tend to be at their weakest. So um, yes an easterly May anticyclonic overall uh, relatively uh, mild or quite warm and dry month being indicated there. Now we go through to June and things get a little bit more complicated in June. We start to take the ridge of high pressure out to our west, centering it just there to the west of Ireland. Winds are probably coming in uh, from the northwest, something a little bit like that. May even be a trough of low pressure. We can't see Scandinavia. There may even be a trough of low pressure extending down to our northeast across Scandinavia. And that could hint at a little bit more of a northerly flow, uh, if anything. Uh, it's still relatively dry though, so it's not much of a problem with precipitation uh, on the dry and average side. We come over here and see that just to our east and northeast is a bit wet and average. That suggests a trough over Scandinavia. But the Atlantic is blocked off with this, so we're not bringing in rain bearing weather systems from off the Atlantic Ocean. We're not bringing in deep areas of low pressure. It's relatively dry, but I think it could be a little bit on the cool side. Let's have a look at the temperature uh, anomaly and see what's that, what that's doing. So it's holding up okay, it's not really suggesting. Uh, a cold average month, but nevertheless, I think June, based on the 500 millibar high tonic with the mid Atlantic reach, probably suggests a cooler and uh, not overly unsettled, but perhaps slightly more showery uh, type month. Let's see where the wind direction is coming from. And you see from the black arrows here that winds are generally coming in from the northwest to possibly uh, slightly northerly. So it's going to be a rather coolish feel uh, for June if that comes off. Not particularly unsettled, but maybe a bit showery. Most likely to be showery in the northeast, I would have thought. And then we've got that very difficult uh, chart to interpret for uh, July. So it looks like we've got the core of the high pressure sort of out there, but also going up to our north. There's possibly, again, we can't see Greenland, but there's possibly a trough of low pressure somewhere uh, around Greenland. Let's have a look at the precipitation anomaly. So still remaining relatively dry uh, for July. It's certainly not going particularly wet, although, again, just to our east, it is slightly above average with precipitation. Uh, there. Temperature anomalies are still holding up just about average to slightly milder than average. So, again, not particularly exciting from a temperature perspective. Uh, now, the wind arrows are, are, are really difficult to work out with this one. It looks like we're bringing westerlies across the uh, Atlantic, but then they're possibly weakening. Uh, maybe doing something a bit like that, so possibly bringing in a bit of a northeasterly, uh, or just very variable. So I, I don't think the JMA has got much of a signal for July here. It, it's very, very difficult to interpret what's going on in July with the JMA uh, this month. It all looks very, very slack. Uh, and I would have thought possibly a little bit on the mix side again. Um, it's not suggesting a big area of high pressure setting up in uh, in uh, July. It just wants things to be very, very slack. But the signals are so weak here that I'm not sure we can really interpret much information uh, for July from the JMA, actually. So July is a little bit of a puzzle, but May is anticyclonic, high pressure dominated, uh, with high pressure ridging in from the northeast, so dry and warm. Uh, essentially for May and then June looks a little bit cooler and a little bit more showery to me with a mid-Atlantic ridge winds in from the northwest potentially at times a little bit northerly uh, so quite a coolish uh, signal for June and a little bit showery and then July really is a mystery <laughs> July really is a mystery uh, as to what uh, the model is actually going for there the signals are very very weak um for July. So uh, we shall see. Anyway, uh, next month we will have the full uh, range of summer months, of course, June, July, and August uh, in next month's JMA update. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what uh, what sort of summer overall the JMA is indicating um, next month. Uh, this uh, uh, update from the JMA will form part of season one round, as I said at the beginning of video that we're going to do at the weekend. We're going to get around 13 non-range ones together, and we'll see what they're all showing for uh, this summer for the second time uh, this season, and that will be coming up at the weekend. But there we go. You've seen the JMA in depth, albeit July, <laughs> as I say, is a little bit of a mystery. 
Right, we'll be back later on with your uh, regular week's 10-day video update. But we'll have all of the usual features included in it as well. So uh, come back uh, for that later on uh, this afternoon. But uh, that's all for now for this update. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.